What's up, y'all? It's your girl, I Love Yagas, and I'm here at the AUC for the first episode of Fashion Cultures Atlanta. We've been doing a couple street interviews, we're doing a couple vendor interviews, and we're just gonna see who has the hardest homecoming fit this week. to share a couple fun facts with y'all about the area so did you know that it's down the street from west end mall my least favorite but you know college town malls are always kind of a little bit run down so if you want to go shop there you know they have a cute little couple of stores for you to go to get your fashion over fit wear it for a day also the clark promenade as you saw before is known for the fashion that it has people come down up and down these streets every day all the way down from the dorm rooms past the promenade to the classrooms and just stunt the whole time you got to wear your heels got to have your promenade models got to be ready at all times can never get caught lacking on the promenade also you got to always have your cute fit for hump wednesdays there's market thursdays here at clark atlanta but morehouse does hump wednesdays where the whole auc comes out has some fun so you know you got to get dressed and lit for that also it's a college campus so you put on your real outfit by one o'clock going about your day you know you eight nine a.m it's okay to hop out the bed in your sweatshirt but you gotta know by 12 one o'clock you better be ready your fit better be presentable because we gonna talk about you. So if you wanna come to Clark, you better be ready for the promenade and all the fashion that comes with it. Erica Walter, you can follow me at Erica Lennox. No underscores, no slashes. I'm a graduating senior at Clark Atlanta University. Period. Okay. So for the people who don't know what the promenade is, tell us a little bit more insight about it. The promenade is wherever you make it. The promenade can be your private room with your boo. Promenade could be the fashion show. You can pump through the promenade. The promenade can be your hiding place when you're trying to hide from somebody. The promenade for me is just, I just need to get to class because I'm graduating, as I said. So I have to, <laughs> as I said, yes, 2020. Hello. Yes. We love to see it. Well, my name is Jalen Simpkins, and I'm a senior. My name is Damian Kemp, but everybody call me Dede, and I'm a junior. Thank you, Dede. Thank you. Okay, so what does an everyday outfit look like for you guys? Because you both look like pretty stylish people. I'm going to start with you. Well, uh, everyday outfit for me is like basically... Me, I have an outgoing personality, mm -hmm. so anything I wear is going to be outgoing. Okay. I usually don't go with the set trend. I try to mix and match, like, mm -hmm. from an old trend or a trend, like, people usually don't do. Okay. So, like, what I'm wearing now, a lot of people went and put lace with checker, then tennis shoes with a blazer, exactly. you know, but I made it work. Weird. I made it work. So, what about you? Um, my everyday style would be, like, different, like you said as well. I don't, like, follow trends, stuff like that, so it's probably, like, a t-shirt, a crossbody bag with some chains, um, big oversized clothes, a lot of loops, a lot of laces. That's about it. Okay, okay. Okay. So, tell us some of your favorite places to shop in and around Atlanta. Ooh, okay, so one of my favorite, like, all-time places to shop is Urban Outfitters. Okay, okay. Definitely. That's actually where I got this champion um, turtleneck from. And I actually got these pants from Urban Outfitters as well. Okay, okay. So that's actually one of my favorite top stores to shop at in Atlanta. So do you feel more obligated to dress up because of the promenade, or is it just like, a, uh, since you've already been here for so long? Honestly, like, I've been dressing up since I was in high school. I was wearing heels when I was in ninth grade. Period. So it's Fabulous just, that's, that's just what it is. So... Granted, like, the culture has died down. Like, CAU really used to be, like, a fashion culture where you had to pump every single day. Every day. And now, like, bitches... Can I cut? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, bitches really just don't be dressing like that. And that's fine. So I really just don't be feeling the need to do the most now because it's just, like, they don't give a fuck either way. Okay. And don't. So what's your favorite trend at the moment? I say at the moment, I want to say... Uh, I want to say these dress pants that come about over the ankle mm -hmm. because one I usually don't like dress pants that come <laughs> all the way down and make me look like I'm wearing something too big yeah so I like the skinny fit dress pants that shows the ankle so you can wear your loafers with no socks to make it look good instead of tacky so. 
And what's your favorite trend at the moment? My favorite trend at the moment, ripped jeans. Mm. I'm really feeling ripped jeans. Okay, I've been feeling okay. ripped jeans lately a lot. I don't know what it is. <laughs> They're cute. Though. I'm it's not wearing any today, but normally yeah. I will be. Okay, okay. So describe the most. Are you from Atlanta? No, I'm from Houston. Okay. So um, as far as you've been in Atlanta, can you explain to us one of the most Atlanta fits that you've seen like from top to bottom or something that you look at somebody and you're like, oh, I know they got to be from Atlanta just by their outfit. Ooh. Anytime I see somebody wearing a hat, like a snapback hat, and it's still 2019, and I'm like, ooh, that's not that's some Atlanta <laughs> stuff. I'm like, that's some Atlanta stuff. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. And so overall, right now, um, in your area, what would you give on a scale of one to five? One being the lowest, five being the best. The overall style or fashion of the people in the area, and well, why? At Clark. Yes. Right now it's a five. Okay. But every day it's like a three. Cause <laughs> like, some people, some people be stepping out, and uh, some people pieces just don't be hitting. Okay. They got pieces that hit and they don't put it together. Right. Exactly. How would you rate an everyday AUC outfit or fashion here? My outfit or everyone else's? Everybody. Outfit? So just like the fashion in general on the. Oh, the fashion in general. Honestly, on Clark's campus, I think we do a good job with our fashion. Okay. Honestly, I think that a lot of us use our art and our creativity to express it through our clothes mm -hmm. and our clothing. So I think that it's illustrated a lot through our campus. Okay, okay. And on a scale of one to five, what would you give them? A one to five, I would give them a four. Okay, we love to see it. Thank you so yes, much for chatting with so us much. today. So for the people who don't know about Clark Atlanta and the promenade, can you explain to them what it is and what tradition and culture that it holds? So being that I came in August 2016, mm -hmm. um, the promenade had officially just got I wouldn't say finish, mm -hmm. but um, part of it in front of the library had just got finished. Mm -hmm. So I want to say it's 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 something to experience because once you're on the promenade, it's like one that's your runway. So everybody, if you if you want to dress up and you want people to see you, that that's that's your runway from point A to point B all the way down. That's your runway, and then two, it's like that's that's where everything is. You basically got you know Market Thursdays. You have endless amount of activities that go on within front of the student center within front of the library and it's just um it's basically like your stumping ground if i want to say if you're not a clark atlanta student and you do not like spend your time on a promenade especially during this time of homecoming yeah. you, you, you can't doing? be no student <laughs> so last question what are the most popping promenade days on campus whenever i'm on it <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Hey, she not. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah, getting girl. the interview with us. Sims, the name of my boutique is Royal Blue Boutique, okay. and I'm also an author of How to Break Barriers as a Roy as a Young Entrepreneur. Okay. It's the blueprint. Okay, we love to see it. So I have a couple questions for you. Where did you originate from? If you're not from Atlanta, and if you are from here, how was it breaking through like the barriers and getting your business grounded in Atlanta? I am originally from Jackson, Mississippi. My first store was there for six years. So I transitioned to a mobile truck. So I have a mobile fashion boutique and we just relocated to Smyrna, Georgia. Um, but my Mississippi, my Mississippi fan base or my followers have helped me build in Atlanta. Okay. And I just stand staying consistent, being on social media, being relevant, being at events like this all helps the brand. Okay, we love to see it. I stay in Smyrna too, so I definitely gotta come visit come see you. Me. Come see me. So how does Atlanta's fashion culture influence what you sell and how you sell it? Funny. My store is in Smyrna. Okay. Smyrna is not Atlanta. <laughs> so it's a totally different market. I mm -hmm. did extremely well on the college markets. But some of these items, people that's on a college uh, college campus, they want to wear something fashionable one time. They get that Instagram post. Exactly. And they're done. Mm -hmm. they, they'll sell it or they get off of it. Exactly. Whereas when you have a more mature audience, they want to have something more conservative, something that they can wear more. Okay. So different markets. Good, good. So last question, why did you choose to come to Atlanta to grow your business further? Well, I am a serial entrepreneur. I have a venue here. It's just more opportunities. Mississippi, I did extremely well. Mm -hmm. But Atlanta is a mecca for black businesses. Obviously. And you can grow here. It's more opportunities. It's not easier. It's just more opportunities. 
Well, thank you so much for talking to me, and I hope your business does amazing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> See you later. Stephanie. Hi, Miss no. Stephanie. All right, Miss Stephanie and Miss Danelle. So where did you guys originate from if you're not from Atlanta? Well, we're the HBCU Culture Shop, and um, we're, we came from a Tampa, Florida, but we're here in Atlanta all the time doing all these events. So as you know, like, we're the HBCU Culture Shop, so we go to different HBCUs and kind of, like, fill it out and sell and mingle with the people and kind of, you know, feel the vibe. We are the culture. We're bringing the culture. Okay, okay. So how does Atlanta culture influence, like, what you sell and how you sell it? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so I actually lived in Atlanta. I moved from New York originally, and I moved to Atlanta when I was in high school. And so, like, a lot of the products that we have are based from Atlanta culture. So you have, like, the Gucci Susie. You know, we have Atlanta created the culture. We have, like, a lot of um, Atlanta HBCUs. Georgia has the most HBCUs out of any um, state. So it's, like, a lot of, of the culture that we kind of replicate in our shirts is derived from Atlanta, definitely. Okay. And why did you guys choose to grow your fashion business in Atlanta as opposed to Tampa, New York, or somewhere? I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can get that one. So, um, Tampa, while it's like growing, it still hasn't like, it's not the black mecca that Atlanta is. Okay. I, I think Atlanta is like unmatched in comparison to like some of the other cities because they're oversaturated. Yeah. And Atlanta is like one of those markets where it's like, even if you're a small guy, you still get a piece of the pie and exactly. people still respect your brand and people like love to see the underdog win. Mm -hmm. So I think Atlanta is a great place for us. Okay, okay. And what about you, Miss Stephanie? Um, I'm just it's basically the same thing she was saying, but also that Atlanta has such a, the most HBCUs. Like, it is so, such a, like a powerhouse. When you think about like, you know, you got Clark, you got Spellhouse. You have all these schools where the culture, the HBC culture would fit perfectly. So. Thank you guys so much for talking to us today, and I hope to see your business grow amazingly. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Hi, my name is Kiara Perry, the owner of Miss Kiara P. I do custom apparel, and I'm now an author. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about where you originated from and how you've grown your business in Atlanta? Um, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. I moved here my ninth grade year in high school. Um, basically just marketing from high school to college. Okay. And so how does Atlanta fashion culture influence your brand and what you choose to produce? Um, because it's very diverse. So when I make my custom apparel, I do it based off what I know people like, what I know people will buy. And being in Atlanta, most people move to Atlanta. Exactly. So it's a mixture of everybody. Exactly, exactly. And so why did you choose to grow your fashion business in Atlanta out of all places instead of like Mississippi or like L.A. or somewhere? Well, Mississippi is kind of small. Okay. So I probably would have outgrown Mississippi by now. Exactly. But, um home always come first mm -hmm. so I always anything I do I always go home and complete it first and then bring it back to where I live in Atlanta. We love to see it. Now tell us a little bit about your book since you are an author as well. Okay my book is called Our Diary Entrepreneur Her. It is for aspiring women entrepreneurs and women that are already entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and it's just basically telling how I started off as an entrepreneur in ninth grade okay. and then I had one job literally I've worked for one person my entire life. That's amazing. And ever since then I worked for them a year wow. and a half. And ever, ever since then, I've been my own boss. I've never worked for anybody else. Well, we love to see you guys. Make sure you go shop with her, get your custom pieces, and buy her book as well so you can be a boss entrepreneur. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.